but it hit the glass and bounces right down and Bell scores! What a shot by Bell, Greg. What a shot. Two weeks ago tonight, Mark Bell scored the 84th goal of his NHL career. But this one was special, of course, because it was his first as a Maple Leaf and for one other significant reason. The Maple Leafs have the 1-0 lead after one, thanks to Mark Bell, his first as a, as a Toronto Maple Leaf. And there's someone special you're going to give this puck to? Yeah, I'm going to give it to my nephew, Joey. Uh, I know he's sitting at home watching the game uh, with my sister, Lindsay. Joey was born with an extremely rare brain disorder called microcephaly, and at the tender age of five has already surpassed his life expectancy. But while his development has been challenged, his ability to offer perspective and inspiration has not. For Joey, this is all about him. He fights every day and kind of brings a tear to your eye um, for, for a guy that, uh, a young man that's has been, uh, been hit with so many things in his life. And, uh, you know, he, uh, He's really an inspiration for uh, for me and my for my family. Mark often talks about how Joey puts things into perspective for him, and I just couldn't even fathom it that I was hearing Joey's name on TV and that that Mark was even thinking of that at the time. Can you say thank you? We always hear that word perspective. What does it mean to you? What is the message you get back from him? I think it's just uh, don't take anything for granted. Don't take. Uh, not one day, not uh, one shift on the ice, not uh, one day in the NHL, not any day that you're walking across the street for granted, uh, anything like that, that uh, not just for me as an NHL hockey player, but for, for anyone. When you hear about a young boy that's been through so much in his short life, uh, it really does, uh, you know, it makes you, it makes you really appreciate uh, uh, life. You count every day that uh, he's alive, that you want to you live another day with him. The past 15 months haven't been without challenges for Bell. On September 4th of last year, he was arrested for drunk driving in San Jose when his car rear-ended a pickup truck. Bell pled no contest, was eventually suspended 15 games by the NHL, and faces six months in jail when the season is over. That's a, a, a page I want to turn in my life, but at the same time it happened, and uh, I'm not Looking at anyone else, I've uh, I've uh, take full responsibility for what I did, and I move on. And uh, I made a mistake. Knowing what you're facing next summer, how do you cope with that? How do you control your emotions? I haven't really thought about it a whole lot, to be honest with you. I, it's 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 uh, one of those things where I, I can't control that. So um, whatever happens, happens. I'll deal with it when it when it happens. And and uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. It does pop into my head every now and again, but. It's, it's not going to help me now, and, and uh, I'm very, uh, very focused on what I have to do on the ice. Now, Christmas is just a week or so away. What's the greatest gift you've received this year? <laughs> September 4th of 06, probably the greatest gift. Uh, it's kind of weird saying that, but, uh, I mean, it was a, it was a, a rough night, and, uh, but like my father said, it was probably the best thing that ever happened to me. So um, you embrace that, and, and, and it could be a blessing. You just kind of put everything... Um, behind you and, and you, you really just think uh, what you want in your life and perspective wise uh, what means more to you and uh, I think uh, I'm a good hockey player I don't want to be uh, thought of as a hockey player that drank too much I want to be thought of as uh, a great hockey player and um, you know in the end when people hear my name I want them to, to think that from this point on it's been over a year now and I've, uh, I'm very confident in the way I, live. I run my life and and uh, my family's been right beside me, and uh, thankfully for that. And uh, Joey's been right there too, and he's been an inspiration.